capital H, he, that it resides inside my heart, that he, little h, that is in this world. And we give a lot of time and effort towards the things that we can do in our strength. I spend a lot of time doing it. But what's beautiful is it's in our weakness that Jesus becomes stronger and he's able to do something in us. And we come against things in this world that we think are insurmountable. Mountains, things in our lives, and, and we don't know how to move them or get around them. And all our weakness and acknowledging and realizing that we're and guess what? We fail. You fail, I fail. We fall short of the glory of God. But by His power and His strength in us, we can face tomorrow. And I was reminded of this this past week with my little girl. I have a two-year-old daughter named Ava. And me and her are hanging out in the ocean for the first time. And the waves are coming and she's freaking out. You know, I mean, she's, she's losing it. And uh, I was like, Ava, Daddy's stronger, Daddy's stronger. And we're talking, I've been teaching her that Daddy's strong. You know, I want her to feel safe and protected in my arms. I want her to know that her Daddy would do anything to save her at an early age. I want her to know that. And of her own, without any prompting, she slapped the water and she said, Daddy's stronger than the waves. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it got me. But as I was walking around in the water, I remembered something. My daddy, my father in heaven, is stronger than the waves. He's stronger than the things that you and I come up against. 